Hello and welcome to Make Music Free and this part we're going to be talking a little bit about a step sequencer and these are all the FL Studio basics so you're going to find yourself understanding the whole thing and being able to start using it effectively okay so we'll, um, we'll get started then um, so as you see here I'm tagging this on and off this is actually the step sequencer okay um, so there's, it looks looks it looks quite simple and humble. Essentially, essentially, what it is though is as um, a sort of like a little grid compared to the compared to the balance to the pattern thing that I just spoke about last video um, to the playlist. Sorry. Um, so you can see here it, this is this is much more for like for drums. Um, this little grid thing, but you can use it for um, piano. It's basically where you store. Um, the little bricks that make up your song. That's how I describe it. So there's one pattern. There's two, three, four, and each one of them is unique. So you can. Oh my God! It's like there's infinite of them. Um, so yeah, you can you can basically change that, and um, that does all that for you. Um, and yeah, that's quite useful. So there's a few different things we can get we can do with it. Um, namely, we can we can just make a simple drum beat with it. Um, I'm just gonna do something really simple. This is just a real, real simple stuff, and you, you need to change it from the song mode, so it goes from pattern, um, from pattern mode to song mode. Okay, um, so song mode is when it plays on the playlist. Pattern mode is when it just plays the selected pattern that you're on. Okay, so this is just a simple one. Just let me quickly do this. Do this. Let me do this. Okay, so that's what that basically what it does. So you can play little things and it'll just keep playing it. Um, you can change things live. You know, so you can do that kind of thing. So that's one use for it. Um, there's loads of other things you can do. So essentially here, um, these are these are kind of these are your samplers, okay? So if we um, right click and we go down, um, this is sort of a few different options. You can actually set your icons. I never do that; it's wasting time. But you can do that, um, and you can load samples in it. So you can so say you wanted to do something. Most of the time, most people use the browser for this, but you can still put things in. So you can change it, and um, there's other things you can do. Like I, I often, if I'm just going to do something quickly, um, a simple B, I often right click and just go fill like four steps, fill every two steps. I don't do that very often. Fill every eight steps, and then you see what it does. So that's quite simple. Um, you can clone it. Um, this is quite useful if you want to um, start doing layering sounds and kind of like. Um, reversing them as well, so so you can do this kind of thing. See how I just clicked on that reverse thing? Sorry, I did that a bit fast. Um, so I'll show you what you can do with it. So you can do stuff like, let me get it right. So that's quite cool. So that's a lot of what sort of dubstep and drum and bass people do. Um, and that's really simple. That's just copying the sound and just reversing. That's a, that's a little thing you can do. Um, and if you right click again and go on insert. Um, this is like all of your um, VSTs, um, and you're going to need these to make yourself um, nice, sexy sounds. So if you just go, for instance, on 3S Oscillator, you'll get um, you'll get up the VST. This is the VST window, and you can start doing things and do cool things with it. Um, you can also um, this is actually a really good thing. Um, if you have downloaded stuff like Complete, any kind of VST like Complete, Harmless, Massive, um, any of them, they're all VSTs. Um, generally, you can install them, and then they'll put them in a certain directory, and then you need to go into here. I've done an actual video on how to do this, but just so I'm referencing it. So if you do want to do that, you can go to that video. Um, so you can just click on More, and this will bring up this window. And um, the F is the ones that's in that quick sort of menu. But as you can see here, I've got loads of them going on down here. Uh, yeah, so I've got like loads of them. So if I want to bring them to the to the thing, you just click on them, and then you click cross. And then when you go insert, it will be there. So silence there, whatever you want. Um, and you can do cool stuff like that. So that's something that's real simple stuff, but like a lot of people don't know how to do it. 
Um, and there's also this little thing that's really useful. Um, it's good to start learning um, hotkeys. It's good if you write them down when I tell you them now and get them sort of like start using them as sort of a habit. It's going to make things a lot quicker. Um, so you can do this one. So if you right click on here, on no, um, left click on it, sorry, and then it comes up with find next empty or find first empty. Um, and you can also rename your patterns as well. Some people do this. I, I don't really tend to do this. If I'm going to rename it, I'll do it actually in, I'll do it as like that track is the baseline or that track is in rather than the actual pattern. But some people do, if they're doing very minute changes, they might actually name that. Like, oh, that's the first change. That's the second change, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, oh yeah, quickly. Um, this little button is quite useful. Um, this is if you've got a pattern that's longer than this grid. Um, you can actually make this grid longer, by the way, and that's just using this this um, thing here and sliding up. Um, 64 will make it 64 beats long. Um, however, however long you want to make it, really, but generally it will go up in eights, um, just like um, with computer memory. Like you go in, like four beats as a bar, eight beats is a um, that kind of thing. So you, you know what I mean. And um, you can just make that longer, but say you made a small, simple beat that's on zero like this, and you had something longer, by pressing that button, um, you are, it will just keep playing over, something like a little thing I do. Um, this is actually um, naturally syncopate, syn syncopation, syncopates the, um, the sounds together, which means you can play stuff on the offbeat and that, which is quite cool. Um, and that is essentially... Um, that is essentially it. And another thing, this is little. This is important as well. Um, when you, uh, I don't know, when you've got like a million clips like me, and you decide to open the world on your project, don't recommend it. But if you do, um, you might want to start sorting them into automation clips. Um, unsorted is just like things that haven't got a class. Um, and audio clips, obviously, that's all that stuff. So you can have a little play with that. That's a little introduction. That's really important. That's proper basic stuff that you just need to know. I can't really make it that interesting because it's just boring and normal. Um, just basic stuff, really. Um, so yeah, that's this one over and done with. Uh, next one, we're going to do uh, piano roll, this thing, and then we're going to do browser and the other one, and then we can actually start making some music, because this is killing me, these early ones. Um, but yeah, so please just kind of get involved, ask questions, if you get stuck, you know, I'm here for you, the world is here for you, we want to encourage you to make music, so please subscribe, check it every day, there's going to be new videos every single day, um, that's the kind of a promise I'm making to you guys, but obviously, you know, I do have a life, so I might not do it on weekends, um, but we'll see, um, so please, yeah, check here every day, if you have any questions and want some videos done and you're like, I need this, I don't understand, Luca, can you help me? I will do it for you because I love you and you're all the family that I have. So thank you. Please subscribe.